Father Dave, I'm parish priest of Holy Trinity Anglican Church in Dulwich Hill, have been for the last oh, 24 years almost. Um, next year will be 25. It's also been running Father Dave's Fight Club for more than 20 years. So this is where we're currently meeting. My involvement with Syria is quite odd. I mean, you might think I'm a bit superstitious, but I sort of try and keep an ear open for what God's trying to say. I, I just found I couldn't go to sleep at night except for thinking about Syria, which is really weird because I didn't even know where Syria was. Uh, I didn't know any Syrians. Uh, just I'd watch TV, I'd see the news reports on Syria, and I'd just think, you know, this isn't right. I mean, Syria is a, a country the same size as Australia in terms of population. I mean, physically, it's the size of Victoria, but um, in terms of population, this is exactly the same as here, except that one third of the population is out of their home. I mean, it's an incredible statistic, really. I think two million externally displaced as refugees, five million internally displaced uh, people who've just been forced to leave their homes, men, women, and children, lots of children. So it's all an extension of David's concern for, you know, since 9-11 basically, where we've polarised society and people saying, you know, why make your cause, you know, this, the Islamic problem, why, why is that such an issue for you? And I think the answer for David is he doesn't know why, it's just that it became something so, com so compelled, so he was so compelled to do that he felt that that's where God was moving him. And I think all his causes and passions have been like that. He has been criticised um, for having his focus elsewhere. Why are you concerned about Gaza and Palestine and all those sorts of things? And David's always been very much of the mind, why not? Why not me? Um, it's an issue that can't be ignored. We can't just say I should be focusing here or there. Um, it's become something that he cannot ignore. Are you afraid from coming here to see afraid. Um, it's our wonderful privilege to be the guest of the Syrian people. It's a great joy to be here. The reason because you are coming here in Syria, the reason behind this visit to Syria? We come here with our, with our prayers and our love and uh, nothing more. It's our privilege to meet the Syrian people and to uh, share with them our hope and our prayers for a resolution of peace. So we are going back to Syria and Iran and London um, in a couple of days um, and I'll be accompanying him as a cameraman like we did uh, last year. Um, so we'll just, we'll just be filming everything, talking to people, trying to get an inside point of view and just really capture, as we did last time, capture what life is like for people over there at the moment. Boxing is a ministry that Dave has been doing for quite some time and it's, it's been a really great way for kids, myself included, to deal with frustrations and feelings and anger in a really positive and constructive way, which might not seem obvious at first, but it took me a while to really get it, but yeah, so um, Dave, uh, who's boxing champion, he'll be boxing for about 20 years, is bringing along Solomon Egberim, uh, who is also a boxing champion, and they'll be uh, working with some of the kids over there, um, teaching them fitness and, and boxing. Yeah, I, I, th I think, you know, but we always, I always say by the time we can get a kid, uh, you know, ready for an amateur fight, he's not doing drugs anymore, he's not in trouble with the law anymore, he's going okay at school again, his parents are saying, you know, what is it you've done, you know, you're amazing, so it's not me, you know, it's, it's the program, you know, it's boxing. It's not street fighting, you see. It's the rules are contained. You have to be disciplined to succeed as a boxer. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's been it worked very well for us with kids here. I think it could work very well, you know, in, in these situations as well. We've got a lot of kids with very little to do, with a lot of pent up aggression. You know, I think it's a, it's a tailor made uh, formula.
boxing is very therapeutic. Uh, it's obviously therapeutic for people with anger management issues. Uh, I mean, it's a great catharsis. But more than that too, it's a great means of learning self-discipline. I mean, the great thing about boxing is the rules are such that you can't get away with just being a thug. Uh, not for long, anyway. Not against someone who knows how to fight. You, if you get angry, you tend to lose, you know, and so you've got to learn self-control. We can bring some joy to the kids. We can help people see what the real Syria, you know, is like uh, without having to sort of uh, play the political games. My feeling has always been with the ordinary people of Syria, you know, not I'm not a politician or a power player and have no desire to ever be one, but we've got to hope that we might be able to make a difference for some of the ordinary people there.